Echo base, Echo leader. Come in. Over. Come in, God damn it. This is Echo leader, over. You boys are supposed to protect my land from intruders, not become intruders. Apparently, one of your highly trained soldiers has wandered into the perimeter. He's about to step on Havoc's toes. Oh, Jesus. Yes, sir. I'll get him out of there right away, over. Ah, uh, don't bother. The lion needs to feed.
What can I get you? Uh, diet soda? Sure. Thanks. Hey, do you know a Mrs. Wallace? No. Hello, miss. Hi, Ms. No names, no details. We'll converse outside. Follow me. Follow me. Where are we going? We're about ready to head into the compound. Who's this? He's here to collect your phone and any other electronic devices you may have. I think for safety reasons, I should hang on to my phone. If you want to interview my client, you will follow his instructions. Okay. Um, can I at least keep my tablet? It's a basic device reporters use. And it's a perfect tracking device for any law enforcement agency to finally find out this location. Okay, look, I get that you have to protect him, okay? I do. I, I get that. But I'm just here to tell a story. I mean, you should know that I'm no threat. It's obvious to me that you would like to propel your career into high gear by interviewing one of the FBI's most wanted. Okay, but I'm a known reporter, and I know that your people investigated me before offering me this interview. We did, however, we weren't able to be certain whether you contacted the FBI or any other law enforcement agency that would love to take my client into custody. I uh, never wanted this interview, Ms. Weaver, but my client insisted on it. So I'm looking for any reason, any reason whatsoever, to tell him we had to cancel this interview and send you home. So you give me no choice. It all depends on how much you value your career. Ambitious girl. Collector Electronics. Echo Siren to Echo Leader. I'll be driving into grid 46 with the reporter. Do not shoot. I repeat, do not shoot. Over. Copy that. I'll alert all sentries. Over. And make sure the asset is nowhere near us. Over. Don't worry about that. Havoc is occupied.
Osiris. We're going to have to change your clothing. Excuse me? My client is very eccentric, and he expects you to dress for the occasion. Haven't we had enough weirdness already today? I'm sure there's something in here that will fit you. <laughs> okay, I am trying to comply with your rules here, but I feel like I'm being toyed with on this one. If you want to interview the extremely wealthy, you're going to have to get used to being toyed with. Now get changed and we'll take you to see him. Okay, well I insist on having a video camera. Any small one will do. You're pushing your luck, Ms. Weaver. And you've played your hand one too many times, Mrs. Wallace. Okay, I have complied with every safety regulation and I'm even willing to wear one of those ridiculous costumes for him, okay? But, but when I leave here with my story, I'm going to need proof that I interviewed this man. Video proof. I'll be outside. And? And I'll allow for a small mini recorder, but that's it. Understood. What is this place? Have you seen this girl? Talk, you son of a bitch! Shit.
Hello? I'm here for the interview. That dress is fabulous. You look beautiful. In it. Uh, I think I look like a fool, but it's the only one that fit me out of those ridiculous choices I was given. Hmm. Your Mrs. Wallace is quite a spitfire. Oh, Mrs. Wallace, she's special. Please, have a seat. You gotta say, I'm happy to see it's really you. I can't remember the last time someone said that to me. It's just that I was unsure if the offer to interview you was genuine. I'm not famous. Not to the public, no. But to law enforcement agencies and reporters? You're Elvis. Once your story gets out, you're gonna be headline news all over the world. And so will the investigative reporter who found me. Got my fingers crossed on that one. This is Ellen Weaver reporting for Ottumwa, Iowa's leader in breaking news, Channel 4 Action News. Please excuse my attire. It will all be self-evident once you see the man I am about to interview. He just made the FBI's top 10 most wanted list, and his identity is shrouded in such mystery, he's only known to law enforcement agencies as the voyeur. Sir, thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. Thank you for allowing me to explain my work. I'd like to take this opportunity to clear up any misconceptions. I'll cut to the chase. Several law enforcement agencies all over the world have issued warrants for your arrest. They claim you've invested a fortune on what they describe as macabre experiments. That's true, in a way. I did inherit my family's fortune. Their wealth was vast. There's even a report stating you used that money to stage the filming of snuff films where actresses were actually murdered. There were deaths involved. But I refuse to call my work something as loathsome as snuff films. They were true pieces of art. More than that, together they were the most honest expression of humanity that I've ever seen. And of nature, too. So you're confirming your involvement in these snuff excuse me, um, performance pieces where actresses were actually murdered on film? There may be some that could see it that way. Look, I didn't come all this way and risk everything just for vague answers. But you said you wanted your story to be told, and I'm here to tell it. But I'm going to need straight answers. Oh, so you want to do surface reporting? That's not going to work. If you want someone to believe you, you have to dig deep. I have a question for you. That's not why I'm here. I came a long way to ask you questions. What do you want out of life? Happiness. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Sure. Doesn't everyone want happiness? Suppose so. 
Almost everyone. Let me guess. Everyone but you, right? What do you want? Truth. But there isn't much happiness in the truth. Okay. We can go down this road. Why not strive for happiness like the rest of us? Truth is cold. It's fear. Pain. Truth is knowing that we all are going to die someday. And that light at the end of the tunnel is not a gateway to heaven. It's an hallucination that is caused by a flood of endorphins created to help us give up the fight and to help us give in to the sweet good night. Truth is realizing that if God did exist, he would be ashamed of us for being a bunch of self-serving apes that only care about accumulating wealth. The fact of the matter is those young women that participated in our films, they experienced something that few of us ever will. They saw and they knew the truth to our existence, the real truth before they died. They were able to see the fury of nature itself. And because of that, they were edified to the fullest. But they had to die to receive that edification? How do you lure these actresses to your film shoots anyway? I'm assuming they're not made aware of the reality of the situation. Most of them wanted to be celebrities. Not really artist, if you know what I mean. I want to congratulate you all for being chosen for Terror Mountain. It is the ultimate horror reality TV show. And whoever wins the show gets the million dollars cash prize. There are cameras everywhere, and they're constantly rolling. And since they only wanted fame and fortune, it was easy to convince them. Greed and pride are deadly sins. So is murder. You mean wrath. And one day I will pay for my sins in the same way. The point is, we offered them money. We made sure they didn't have any fathers or husbands. It was easy. You mentioned fathers. Do you think your father turned you into the type of person who would do these things? Are you a reporter? Or are you a psychotherapist? Maybe a little of both. Tell me about your father, about his wealth. I will. But if we are going to get personal, I need you to tell me about yours first. I don't have one. Do you want to get personal with this interview? That's going to make your career? If you do, do it. Get personal. We all know that the subject of fathers can get complicated. When was the last time you saw your father? What was your strongest memory of him? When my parents divorced, I went from having a father to wanting one. Okay, I would wait every day for a phone call from him. His calls were so rare, it was like Christmas when he finally did bother to call. I grabbed that phone like I was opening a present. 
for a moment. I was happy. But then the disappointment set in because you would just complain about how my mom was the reason we were apart and how horrible she was very little about me until... As time passed, the calls became less frequent until finally stopped altogether. You already started a new family. How's that? Personal enough for you. Tell me about your father. He was always there. He showed me that most people are as worthless as cattle and could be treated as such. On the topic of fathers, you said you lure in actresses who don't have fathers or husbands. Hell, I'm not married and you knew I didn't have a father, didn't you? We were very thorough in our investigation of you before we offered the interview. When was the last time one of these films were made? There's no last time. In fact, we have a couple of aspiring actresses right now on the compound, waiting to be stars. So you admit to these things? About a decade ago, I found myself in a prison cell in some godforsaken place in this world. And before I even knew what I was looking at, in a cell across from mine, I found it. Found what? It was just pacing in its cell, back and forth. It didn't even understand why it wasn't allowed out. It was just pacing, back and forth. And I watched, and I was consumed by it. And its eyes were black, all black, like a shark's. But I knew there was something else in these eyes, and so I just waited and I watched. And then I saw it. It was the truth. There is no lying in these eyes. It simply was, like a storm. And suddenly everything in my life made sense. And I was able at that moment to start seeing the truth in our existence and of what we are. You keep saying it. Are you referring to a creature or a man? It was just a force of nature. Still is. I used to be afraid of death, but now with havoc, I control death. I am his master. Like Beethoven was able to create such works with great beauty, Havoc can destroy with the same finesse. Havoc? Are you being poetic, or is that the prisoner's name? No, that's just what the guards here at the compound call it. It's prisoner number AYO-886. I don't know anything more than that. All I knew was that I needed to set him free. So as soon as my lawyer got me out of prison, I went right back, bribed the warden to release prisoner number AYO-886 into my custody. And? And Havoc came with me. And he has escaped from me from time to time. No.
as of now, and over the last several years, he's been under my care. Does Havoc star in your snuff films? Oh, there you go, with the same slip of the tongue. I'm starting to take offense. No offense intended. It's my life work. To answer your question, Havoc is the star of my films. Is he the executioner? Does he kill the actresses? Havoc kills anything in its path. I carry a gun. I sleep with one under my pillow at night, just in case. I think I have everything I need. Thank you so much. I should be going. Wait, 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 wait. We have so much more to talk about. I think I have everything. Thank you so much. You don't even know my deepest, darkest secret. And what is that? I should warn you. A storm is coming. Where is this girl? Who the hell are you? This is a private compound. Do you have a search warrant? One last time. Where is this girl?
Drop your weapon and put your hands above your head. Please just let me go. I don't want to tell anyone about this place, please. Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god, I thought you were one of them. Have you seen this girl? Do you have any other police with you? Any other backup? This girl, have you seen her? What? Um... No, no, I haven't seen anyone like that. Officer, can you call him back up? Hello? Are you listening to what I am saying? There are... Multiple crimes happening here, okay? Murder! Okay. Tell me what you know. I was brought here to interview a man accused of murder, okay? He lures people in by telling them they're gonna be on a TV show when in reality they're, they're snuff films. He really kills the actors. Actors? 
She's an actress. This man has a killer here, okay? Something like you have never seen. They call him Havoc. Keep talking until I understand. I'll tell you everything you need to know, but not here. Okay, because if you don't have like a SWAT team or something with you, they're gonna kill us both. Can you drive a motorcycle? No. Come with me. You know how to drive a car, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. My cell phone doesn't have reception up here. So take my car and... Whoa, you're not gonna come with me? I can't. When you're in phone reception, call 911. You want me to go by myself? Tell them there's a detective on site. Give them my badge number. Okay, but wait, why don't you just come with me? I can't leave. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because of the girl in the picture? Yes. I told you, I don't even think I saw her. Based on what I observed, she's most likely here. Okay, but you realize if she is here, she's being guarded by those men and their machine guns, right? I mean, you're willing to be killed for her? Yes. And I'd kill the whole world to save her. What kind of a cop are you? A lashier kid or something? When they leave, we run over there and then drive the hell out of here, right? Only you. Damn it, what are they doing? Waiting to see who comes back for the car? Probably. Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. 
Hey, I understand she's your daughter. She's really lucky to have a policeman for a father. She never thought so. When was the last time you saw her? It's been over ten years. What? I haven't even spoken to her. How do you suspect she's even here? My ex-wife reported her missing. I'm a detective. All clues point to here. Well, I hope you find her. She'll be so happy to see you. She hasn't been happy to see me since she was eight. Trust me. She's in this nightmare. No matter what has happened in your past, she'll be happy to see you. She's probably forgotten me by now. You don't happen to have two spare tires, do you? Responding to shots fired.
Alma. Wake up, baby. Daddy. It's you. Listen, baby. No time. Listen to me. No time. Run and don't stop. No. Listen to me. Please. No. Run and don't stop. No. Run. Please. Run. <laughs> Run. Don't stop. Run. Let's slip the dogs of war. 